Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to crochet this quick and easy granny square purse. So for my purse I used a 5mm crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. So thank you very much for watching and please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos. So to begin your purse you want to start off by making a magic circle. So to do a magic circle, take your yarn and take your finger and wrap the yarn around your finger once and you then want to wrap the yarn back over your finger to create a cross like that. You then want to take your crochet hook and go underneath the first loop of the cross and you may need to pull it up a little bit so go underneath the first loop and then using your crochet hook, pick up the second loop of the cross and pull it through. And you can then take your finger out and there you have a magic circle and we are ready to begin round one. So we one. are now on to round one. And to begin this round, you want to chain one and this chain one does not count as a stitch. This just locks our magic circle into place. So now in round one, we are going to do four sets of three double crochets, then chain two into the magic circle. So we're going to do four sets of three double crochets, then chain two. So to do a double crochet, yarn over and go down into the magic circle, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops on your hook. So there we have one double crochet into the magic circle. So now yarn over, go back down into the circle and do a second one in the exact same way and then do a third one. So there we have three double crochets and now you want to chain one and two. So there we have one set of three double crochets, then chain two. And we need to do that three more times or four times in total for round one. So I'm going to do a second set in the same way. Do three double crochets. like that and now chain one and two and keep doing that until you have four sets. So I have finished doing those four sets for round one so I have finished off by doing chain two. So now to finish off round one we need to close up our magic circle and join. So to close up your magic circle, take your end or your tail here and simply pull this nice and tight. So pull it as tight as you can and that will close up the magic circle. And now to join, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So here is the first double crochet, insert your hook into this stitch and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. So work a slip stitch and now you can fasten off, so pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn leaving a tail to weave in or work over later. And we are ready to move on to round so two. So we are now on to round two. And to begin this round, we need to attach our new yarn to our work, so to round one. So in round two, we are going to be working into the chain two spaces from last round. So here, 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 and here. So you need to start off by inserting your hook into any of these chain two spaces. So you can choose any one you like. I'm going to go with this one. Insert your hook into the space 
and then take your new yarn, place it over the end of your crochet hook and pull it through and you can then chain one to secure it. So there we have attached our new yarn to our work and we're ready to begin round two. So to start off this round, we're going to do three double crochets into this chain space here. So into the space that we just attached our yarn into. So yarn over, go down into the space and do three double crochets. like that and now you want to chain two so chain one and two and then go back down into this same space again so the same space that we just worked into and do three more double crochets so yarn over go back down into the space and do three more double crochets So like that and now you want to chain one so chain one so there we have done three double crochets chain two three double crochets then chain one and we're going to repeat that all the way around into this next chain space here we are going to do the same thing three double crochets chain two three double crochets then you want to chain one and do the same thing into the next chain space. Three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. Then chain one and do the same thing into the next chain space. So this is the last chain two and then chain one. So we're just repeating that all the way around. So yarn over and move on to the next chain two space and do three double crochets. then chain one and two and go back down into the same space and do three more double crochets like that and then chain one and just repeat that all the way around. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round two. So I have done my last chain one at the end. And now to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So go into this first double crochet and do a slip stitch. And now you can fasten off. So pull your yarn out and your hook and cut your yarn leaving a tail to weave in or work over later. And you can see that we are starting to get our square shape. So whenever we did this set of stitches, we created a corner. And now we're ready to move on to round three. So we are three. now on to round three. And to begin this round, you want to start off by attaching your new yarn into any of the corners of the square. So you could go here, 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 or here. So into any corner space. So I'm going to go into this space here, insert your hook into the space, place the, your new yarn over the end of your hook, pull it through and chain one. So there we have attached our new yarn to our work and we're ready to move on to round three. So to begin this round, we're going to go down into this space here. So the space that we just attached our yarn into 
and we're going to do a corner. So we're going to do the same set of stitches as we used last round. So that is three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, all into this space. So yarn over and go down into this space and do three double crochets. Then chain one, two, and do three more double crochets back into the same space. So it's the same set of stitches as we used last round, and that gives us a corner. And now you want to chain one, so chain one, and we're going to move on to this next space here. So the space which is along the flat side here, and into this space, we're just going to do three double crochets. So yarn over and go into this space and do three double crochets. Like that. And now you want to chain one. And now we're going to move on to the next space here. So this is a corner, so the, one of the corners of our square. And into this space, we're going to do another corner. We're going to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, all into this space. So yarn over, go into the space, and do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, or just work a corner. So like that. And now you want to chain one and move on to this next space here along the flat side and into this space we're going to do three double crochets. So like that. And then you want to chain one. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around for round three. Whenever we get to a corner, so here and here, we're going to do another corner. So three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets, all into that space. And then whenever we get to a flat side, so here and here, so in between the corners, we're just going to do three double crochets into that space. And then in between each set of stitches we do, you need to remember to chain one. So we're going to do a corner, then chain one, three double crochets, chain one, corner, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, all the way around. And whenever we do a corner, we do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round three. So I have done my last set of three double crochets here and chained one. And now to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the first double crochet that we worked. So go into the first double crochet and do a slip stitch. And now you can fasten off and we're ready to move on to round four. So we are now four. on to round four. And to begin this round, you want to attach your yarn into any of the corner spaces around. So you could go into this one, this one, this one, or this one. It's completely up to you. So insert your yarn into the corner space, so into any one. Then take your new yarn, place it over the end of your hook, 
pull it through and chain one. And now we're ready to move on to round four. So to begin round four, we're going to do the same thing as last round. We're going to start off by doing a corner into this space or into this corner. So we're going to do three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. So go down into the space and do a corner. So like that and now you want to chain one and we are going to move on to this first space along the flat side here so go into the first space and do three double crochets so yarn over go into the space and do three double crochets Then chain one and then go to the next space along the flat side here and do three double crochets into this one as well. So yarn over, go into the space and do three double crochets. Like that. And then you want to chain one. So like that. And we're just going to repeat this all the way around for round four. So this round is very similar to last round. It's just the only difference is that there is one more space to work into along each side of the square. So whenever we get to a corner, so here, here and here, we're going to do a corner. So three double crochets, chain two, three double crochets. And then whenever we get to a flat side, so here and here and here and here and here and here. So there should be two spaces to work in along each side. You want to do three double crochets into each space. And then in between each set of stitches you do, chain one. So we're going to do a corner, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, corner, chain one, three double crochets, chain one, all the way around. So it's the same thing as last round, just one extra space on each side. So I have just finished working that all the way around for round four and when I got to the end of the round I did my last chain one then a slip stitch into the first double crochet that I worked. So this is what you should have at the end of round four and now what you want to do is you want to make a second piece just like this. So make a second square in the exact same way. So start off with a magic circle, then do rounds one, two, three and four in the same way. And this is what you should have once you have done that. So you want two squares. And now we just need to sew these together and add a strap to create our bag. So make a second square in the same way and then we can move on to sewing them up or sewing them together. So once you have your two squares, we can begin joining them. So to join them, you want to place them with their right sides together. So take the front of each square and place it so that they are facing together like this and that way you have the wrong side facing out on both sides and then you want to take a yarn needle so take a yarn needle like this and then a long piece of yarn in the same colour as the last round of your squares and we are going to join our squares using the whip stitch along three sides. So we're going to do the whip stitch from the top here, all the way down, all the way around the bottom, and all the way up along the other side. So we're joining along three sides and leaving one open. So line your work up perfectly, making sure that the right sides are together 
and then go through the very top of one of the corners, making sure that you're going through the exact same stitch on both squares and pull your yarn through. And we are going to join using the whip stitch. So we're going to do the whip stitch all the way along three sides. So go in through the next stitch and go through both sides and pull your yarn through. And then with the whip stitch, you always come back around to this side. So come back around to the same side again and go through both squares and pull your yarn through. Then come back around to this side, go through both squares and pull your yarn through. Then back around here again, through both sides, pulling your yarn through and do this all the way down here to the very corner and just follow the stitches around along the bottom, follow the stitches around and all the way up to the top and when you get to the very edge, go into this last corner space at the end and then fasten off. So pull your needle and your yarn out. Then you can weave all of your ends into the back of your squares. And then you want to turn your squares the right way around. So you will need to turn your work inside out so that you have the right side of the squares facing outwards. And there you will have joined your work. So do the whip stitch all the way along three sides. So I have finished sewing up my purse, so I did the whip stitch all the way down this side, all the way around the bottom and then all the way up along the other side and then when I got to the top I cut my yarn and pulled it through and then you want to go ahead and weave all of your ends into the inside of your purse. So turn your purse the right way around and then weave all of the ends into the inside and then you want to add a strap to your purse. So the strap is very easy to make. You just want to insert your hook into the corner of the purse here and then make a chain for as long as you like. So I chained 80 and then just do a slip stitch into the opposite side and then fasten off and weave that end in. And there you will have finished your So that purse. is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it easy to follow. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more crochet videos and in the description box below this video I will leave a link to where you can find my Twitter so if you would like to go and follow me on there I always like to post updates and pictures of upcoming tutorials and I would love to see photos of your crochet work on Twitter as well and in the description box I will also leave a link to where you can find some of my written patterns if you are interested. And thank you again for watching. Bye!